What do you say to those viewers that don't pursue their dreams and are locked into their careers because they are too afraid to take risks and pursue something mm -hmm. meaningful? Well, the first thing I would say is, well, you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. But you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable. It's like the first thing you want to do is dispense with the idea that you get to have any, any permanent security outside of your ability to contend and adapt. It's the same issue with children. It's like you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable. You might say, well, the devil I know is better than the one I don't. It's like, don't be so sure of that. The clock is ticking. Yeah, and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing, in five years you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older. Remember now, I'm not talking about what makes you happy. It's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy. It's a moral obligation to pursue what you find meaningful. And that doesn't mean it's easy. It might require sacrifice. sacrifice. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bringing It Easy, aka Bringing Man, coming to you live on the Mannequin Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that has been asked a lot, a lot of times. Um, why did I quit? Well, for the meantime, why did I quit architecture and go back to school? Um, as you guys, as, 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 some, as, 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 as most of you know, if you follow my channel, I've gone through a life change, like a switch of path, completely switched path. In the part like if you guys if you guys have been following my channel judiciously, you've seen that I've gone from fashion to well, I was still in school, but architecture school to my master's degree to working in architecture and then actually not figuring out that I actually don't like it and then switching to go back to business school to chase this new journey and dream of mine to get into banking. I've not explained everything to you guys, but um, yeah, so currently, so backtrack. Coming out of high school, I feel like I was a very unrealistic person. Um, maybe not maybe not unrealistic, but maybe the dreams that I had for myself were just not realistic. Um, at the time, I played basketball and my goal was to obviously move to the US and play basketball. This is something I've never talked about because obviously, I mean, I've never had, I never felt like it was necessary to talk about, but hey, I feel like this would probably help someone out there. But um, moving to the US for me was more or less like, okay, I want to chase this dream of being a basketball player and all that. Fine, good. I got there tried to try my best did that but then i didn't realize that um and if you guys have nigerian if you guys are nigerian or have nigerian parents you understand that you can't just obviously leave home and go and play basketball you can't do that especially if your parents are going to be funding that so um i made a deal where i would do architecture and i'll do architecture at the same time play basketball obviously you guys know how that went because i mean clearly i'm not in the nba right now so um i quit i quit playing basketball and then i followed the path of architecture my competitive self made me like just follow the path of architecture and get as much as i can so i got the most that i could out of the, the degree i got good gpa good certifications good internships i did i worked a lot i worked my ass off for that degree worked my ass off got into several master's programs and then obviously got into a master's program got my master's um but the thing is and that's the thing with life if you're not in a field or if you're not in a path that you feel is for you it would come back full circle obviously i felt like okay it's architecture i come from an architectural background being my dad is an architect as well um so i i, I never thought i never felt like there would be any thing that would make me feel like leaving this field but then coming to the end of everything when I started to work and then see that and like I said in my other video guys Amiibo so a lot of the things that I do are very much motivated by money so sadly enough architecture field is not the field that you want to be if you want to make a lot of money starting out um, 
if you want it's an, if you want to be in that in that field of building buildings you want to go to either project management or construction but that's another video and i know people have asked me this question before but um i'm sorry to say unless you really love designing and sitting down for long hours on a desk um designing buildings and ending up with not a lot of reward i don't think that it's something that people ready to work nine to five should look into yes i appreciate the fact that i did my architecture degree because i feel like i still i'm going to use my degree at some point but i do feel like architecture is a creative field it's a creative degree unless you own your you're going to own your firm or you're going to make your own designs i don't see the point of you necessarily working for someone unless you don't know the path you want to follow so hence my leaving i felt especially come last year during the pandemic year which was a time when a lot of people got to live with themselves a lot of us were, were working from home i worked from home last year but then i worked a job that helped me line up what exactly i wanted to do with myself um in the job obviously i got experience i got a lot of experience i got a lot of connection but then it just made me realize that okay with the skills that i have and the skills that i've built and when i say skills i mean in other things um i started to trade i started to trade and be interested in finance and all these things like about four years ago when i took a class like a, an elective class in during my undergrad degree and then this spiraled me this spiraled me down into like a loop of researching about financial terms financial investing actually investing myself and then obviously a whole cycle of joining a couple of pyramid mlm stuff that i felt like i was going to learn from and then obviously learning how to trade other things like forex and uh, then bringing me where i am today which is me getting a, a degree in business and finance so um um so i feel like having those skills and those experiences i felt like it was the perfect time to chase that especially because obviously some people might say that i would have liked it if i worked at a, be at a better better firm but hey i just feel like life is too short to do that staying at a firm for too long so this is definitely this is definitely the phase in life where we're still young i'm still young so if i make a mistake it won't hurt me as much as someone that's say 30 35 40 so that was my thought process behind it so coming to this coming to the uk for business school why did i decide to come to the uk why did i just do business school in, in america i felt like i needed to be in a different environment for sure um being in america i feel i felt like um it was such a past that i just wanted to like let go especially because like okay i did my architecture degree and everything there so i felt like i wanted to i wanted i wanted the fresh start especially in the finance field if you guys research it the the, the uk london is one of the best places to to work in the finance industry um obviously there's new york but then london is one of it and also hey if you got the if you were given the chance to explore and travel away from somewhere that you've been living for a couple of years would you not take the deal exactly so i decided to come here um yes i got into other schools that's a question that people were asking as well i got into other schools i got into you know the schools i got into to get this degree i got into northeastern business school i got into um but i got into northeastern for project management so it wasn't necessarily the business school but not northeastern i got into northeastern for project management um i got into henley business school i got into halt business school um I got into to Babson College, but all these schools for me were just not, they just were not it because, I mean, obviously they were the American ones, but like I said, my drive was to leave. <laughs> so, um, Reading University, Henley Business School, which is the one I currently am right now, was the best choice. It's one of the best universities for business, especially for finance. So why not? Um, and plus, I've never been to a big university. My my undergrad and my first masters was in a very small school and predominantly predominantly with no culture. So coming here is a bigger school. There's a bigger university, a lot more people involved, and um, yeah, and bigger name. How has it been for me? 
coming from a different coming from a different field i feel like it's been so hard adapting to everything especially because especially because of math um I, i'm coming from architecture architecture as you guys may may not believe there's not a lot of math in architecture um it's very basic math but now i'm coming into a field which is finance that there's everything about finance is math so um, I have to kind of like restructure my mind to actually doing the math and getting this thing done. Um, on my, as far as my resume goes, obviously my resume is affected because most of the stuff on my resume does not, it doesn't work. So I have to, I have to, um, so I have to start to do, so I had, I had to start to do things that would start to reflect my interest in this new field. Um, should I have just found a job and then learned on the job? Yes, I possibly can. But the thing is, the way the world is right now, uh, for internationals, you can't just get a job, especially if you're from Nigeria. If you're, if you're from Nigeria, they, like, nothing you say, nothing you do is credible unless you have some sort of certification or degree. So my thing was, I'm just going to keep piling up, not, not keep going to, because this is my last time. This is my last time I'm going to school, guys trust me I, trust me this is my last time but i just my thing was okay i'm gonna get this degree and then with the degree and my past work experience i'm going to find a good job and then go up the ladder obviously i still have dreams of the entrepreneurial lifestyle but um i have no capital so it's advised so i so i had to advise myself that i'm gonna work for a couple of years and then eventually do other things that i want to do with my life but you guys watch that because we're on here together i'm gonna my channel is not going down anytime soon we're gonna be watching me grow watching me make this money you guys are gonna watch me when i buy my chair you feel me anyways um that's just that's just a little motivation for myself um i wanted to make this video because i feel like it's a comment that i've been getting a lot and a dm i've been getting a lot when people have been asking me okay why did you decide to go to the uk why did you quit why did you just stick to it why didn't you just obviously yeah like at first it felt like i was just giving up but then now that i'm here i do feel very happy and very fulfilled even though i'm not done yet but i do feel very happy and fulfilled that i'm actually chasing something that personally i said i wanted to do um not just like parents and that's one thing for like mainly mainly my fellow Nigerians that most likely your parents are going to be in charge of picking your life um, I would always, always, I would always advise that okay yeah if you don't know what you want to go into yeah to be advised to follow what they want but then you have to be careful with doing that because you have to, you have to ask yourself are you am I am I am I sacrificing my own happiness or my future happiness for my parents satisfaction a lot of the times our parents when they were young just like how you are now now as i am I, got, I i mean i've told you guys i had basketball dreams i had hopes of being in the nba i wouldn't i wouldn't in the future because i had hopes and i didn't make those hopes happen for me i wouldn't in the future go ahead and force my kid or my kids to learn how to play basketball or play basketball at the level that i did just because i want them to play in the nba just so they can fulfill my dreams no i wouldn't do that and i feel like that's a mistake that a lot of our parents generation um, went through and obviously they're starting to see that that actually does not work because you might be you might have been a math guru or, or some genius in your time and then you give birth to a kid that's not necessarily a genius in your own way but maybe like a create like like a creative for me I feel like in my family I'm probably not the I'm probably not the bright star of the family and I'm, I'm i'm not saying this for any pity like i don't want like I, I do i do have family members watching this but it's not it's not for pity but then i feel i believe that i'm more of a creative hard worker so i when i when i say that i say that by meaning i i, I mean that by saying i mean that i say that by meaning i mean that, i mean by that by saying that i'm a naturally creative person so a lot of situations i find myself bad or good I make the best out of it and make I make the best out of it and create something beautiful out of it no matter the situation and then when I say hard work is that when I find myself in diff difficult situation especially like stuff like school I always figure my way out like that like, so I don't I tend not to panic too much so um, 
so not necessarily about like a god-given brain but like more like i work hard for everything i do um so yeah that's what i'm saying like um this it's it's obviously parents watching this channel as well you shouldn't force your kids to do stuff and then kids as well um kids or people not we're not kids anymore so uh, guys if you know what you if you figured out what you feel like you want to do and it makes sense to you pursue it as long as it's not hurting anyone it's not hurting your parents obviously as long as it's about you and your progression in life i would advise you to just go ahead and do it obviously switching lanes is not always the best idea i wouldn't not advise anyone to switch lanes from their own occupation unless they're actually ready because it comes with a lot of cost comes with a lot of um comes with a lot of cost because it comes with financial cost it comes with a lot of mental cost and it comes with a lot of like other kinds of costs that i don't even know I, I don't have a name for anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this was not too long because i feel like i just was ranting and going on and on um make sure you leave a like comment comment down below some time in your life when you had to take a very risky turn in at a decision um and how you were able to overcome this um yeah so peace